Were you able to see the uh, Conor McGregor fight? <laughs> I, I didn't really know that he fought. You didn't know? You didn't see it, or? No, absolutely <laughs> not. I thought you would be interested. I mean, he's, he's like the Floyd May, he's like the Floyd Mayweather of the MMA, the UFC. Uh, I didn't know Conor McGregor was undefeated. But I didn't know that he had a, um, a reign in MMA for 20 years and undefeated and was world champion in five different weight classes. That's something I didn't know. Yeah. So I guess you guys telling me something new. If you say he's the Floyd Mayweather of the MMA. Well, do you, th you I know mean, if you say he's the Floyd Mayweather of the MMA, I'm trying to find out. Have you ever made 300 million in one night? Have you ever made 100 million in one night? Have you ever made 70 million in one night? So, far as trying to say that he's the Floyd Mayweather MMA, I mean, I mean it's okay to just to, to say it, but sure. it's, it's not true. I'm a legend, a living legend. You know, I gave uh, just what a box I gave years and years of hard work. It was blood, sweat, and tears. I had a tremendous team. I had a tremendous run. I think that it's time for Conor McGregor to go out there and 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 do what he and do what he do. Uh, but never compare Conor McGregor to me. That's a total disrespect. Well, what? Yeah. I mean, once again, um, I, I'm an elephant. Elephant don't beef with ants. You know, elephant is so large you don't even see ants. You can see the rest of Woo. Floyd's interview on TMZ Sports tonight at 11.30 Eastern on FS1. Ooh, so Skip, what do you make of uh, Floyd's reaction to that? Before you, go again, before you go, Skip, can you explain to me why I beef with you since I'm an elephant? <laughs> oh, I'm, Floyd, I'm Floyd Mayweather, you Connor. You about to get taken down. Uh, the bull elephant is sitting on this side of the table <laughs> when it comes to debate. You know what just happened? Conor McGregor already got to Floyd Mayweather Jr. This was the equivalent of Floyd looking up and boom, just getting rocked by one of those sharp, quick lightning lefts from Conor McGregor. And he's a little staggered on his feet as TMZ got him walking through the streets of New York City. Aha! So he's back in the stomping grounds where UFC was, obviously, at Madison Square Garden on Saturday night. And Floyd Mayweather Jr., who I proclaim the greatest defensive fighter ever, was really on the defensive. You want to talk about thin skin? You want to talk about coming across as a little threatened already by, by Conor McGregor? You want to talk about Floyd coming across as a little jealous of the stature of Conor McGregor? Not just in UFC, but in worldwide stature, because I think Floyd is already getting the drift here that Conor McGregor is bigger than Floyd Mayweather Jr. on a global scale. UFC is taking over from boxing, and Conor has taken over from Floyd Mayweather Jr. I did think it was interesting. He actually talked about himself in the past tense there at the end of what we just saw, mm -hmm. as if he did that and it's over and done, which surprised me a little bit, like he's almost giving in and giving up and saying now he should go do what he does. But... To me, in, in the bigger picture, this whole elephant analogy is its the first time I've ever heard Floyd, slender little Floyd Mayweather Jr., compare himself to an elephant because, as I just said, the, the bull elephant here is Conor McGregor. And I think Floyd did watch that fight. I think he was not being truthful about not watching that fight on Saturday night, the UFC fight, what happened to poor Eddie Alvarez in that fight. And I think that Floyd saw someone he could not contend with, even under boxing rules with 12-ounce boxing gloves. And I think he knows, as he nears 40 years of age, that there's no way he could risk his legacy against Conor McGregor, who, by the way, is an even greater trash talker than the, sh than the great Shannon Sharp was in the National Football League. This, this is, this is the me. greatest <laughs> trash talker I've ever seen. So I think Floyd knows that a build-up to a potential floyd Conor fight he might be overmatched in the trash talking department. Oh yeah, he definitely overmatched yeah, yeah. in that department. And and he could lose the fight before the fight. And in this case, if if I may quote Hamlet here, do you, do you remember the line from? Uh, I'm, forgive me, this my my Vanderbilt's coming out of me here, but <laughs> Act Three, Scene Two, Gertrude's line about methinks the lady doth protest too much. Well, in this case, 
Floyd doth protest too much. He's, he's overly defending himself as I'm the greatest ever. Don't you dare to disrespect me because I think he sees and knows that Conor McGregor has arrived as the greatest of, of now, of right now. And I would love to see these two go at it, but I think Floyd has realized after Saturday night his time has passed. He would have no chance against this guy in the ring because he would have to beat him like decisively or he would be embarrassed. And I think he would get embarrassed by Conor McGregor. And I think you saw right there that he knows it. Well, first of all, Skip, me and Trash talking and Conor McGregor, I wasn't allowed to use curse words. I had to be really creative and colorful. It, it, I will agree. It does help to go a little blue here, yeah, right? Yeah, it, it really does. You know? mm -hmm. And Skip, I, I, I don't disagree with Floyd. It is very, very blatantly disrespectful to say that Conor McGregor is as good. Floyd is a great boxer. In MMA, you have to be good at a lot of disciplines. You need to be able to box. You need to be able to wrestle. You need to be able to do Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, maybe Muay Thai, maybe Krav Maga. You have to be good in a lot of areas. Conor is a great MMA fighter. I don't know if he's really as great as Floyd is in boxing. I don't know if he's that great in any one of those disciplines. So now we're going to decide. In boxing, Skip, what weight are they going to fight at? Up to 147. Any weight class up to 147, you use 8-ounce gloves. Anything 147.5 or above, you use 10-ounce gloves. Yep. So I, now I'll go 12. I, I don't care. Uh, I don't care. No, wh whatever, whatever Floyd wants. There could be some catch weight in between okay. 147, okay. 155. I don't know, 150, 152, what, whatever. Whatever Floyd and, wants. And, but you're trying to compare. It's like saying... A marathon, uh, Usain Bolt can be the 800-meter guy. They both run, but that's not his discipline. Floyd is a great, 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 all-time great fighter. You can't say because Conor McGregor boxed as an amateur. There are a lot of guys that box as amateurs. There are a lot of amateurs that go to the Olympics. There are some Olympians that win gold medals, but there are very, very few that become world champion in five different weight classes, which he's done. He's unbeaten. He's untied. 49 times. Guess what, Skip? He strolled down to the ring. A lot of different music. And every time he's left the ring, he strolled back to his dressing room. And, and I can't name about 40 of those opponents. Hands raised high. He, he fights people you never heard of. De La that Hoya. does not happen. Sugar that Shane does not Mosley. happen in UFC. You fight the biggest, baddest. In, in fact, Conor McGregor recently four. lost a fight. Guess why? He said, Nate Diaz, yeah, I'll, I'll take Nate Diaz. I'll take him on. He weighs 170 to my 155. He has five inches of reach on me, and he lost to him once, and he turned right around and kicked his behind. Repeat what you just said. He did what to him? You heard me. That's something you've never heard come out of the words of anybody in mouth with Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather and losing. So for you to say... If, would, would Floyd Skip, stop ever stop being disrespectful would, to the man? Would Floyd ever fight 170 pounders? No. He Floyd Floyd couldn't weigh 170 pounds unless he had a 25 pound weight strapped to him. Well, neither could Conor McGregor. 155. Floyd, the heaviest Floyd has ever been he, was 154. He fought at 154, maybe once or twice. Mm -hmm. He probably weighed 148, 149 at the time. Mm -hmm. He's not a he's not a large man. So that's no. and, and he trains all the time. But there's a diff there are different types of training. You can train but not be in boxing shape. He hadn't fought in over, what, 14, 15 months, Skip? Mm -hmm. So now he's going to have to reprogram himself. We see guys all the time. Oh, he's in shape, but I'm not in football shape. Uh, I'm in shape, but I'm not in basketball shape. Floyd would have to get back into boxing shape. And you're asking Conor McGregor to refocus his entire way of thinking because now he can't kick. He can't take anybody down. He can't elbow anybody. He has to just strictly stand up and put these. Well, Floyd is the master of throwing CDs. You know what CDs are, Skip? CDs? Mm -hmm. That's what Floyd do better than anybody else in his weight class. From 147 down, Floyd is the baddest you, mate. You know, right now, near him 40, I don't think Floyd could knock me out. That, that's how much punching power he has. He hasn't knocked anybody out in, what, a decade, it seems like? Skip. Seriously. He, he, doesn't, he wants to make you look bad. When you throw a punch and then he hits you with three or four, you're like, which one of y'all hit me? Did, is the rough fight? Am, am, am I fighting two people in this ring? Because soon as he, as soon as Connor throws one punch, rat-a-tat-tat. -tat. Puff, puff, puff. Yep. 
and, 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 and guess what's gonna be puffy? Powder puff, powder puff, powder puff. Be swole up, lumped up. And then all of a sudden, one boom. Where did that come from? Lightning. Poo. Hit. I bet, Woo. I bet, I bet by the fifth round, Conor McGregor looked like he got the mumps. Jaws all swole up. I closed for the weekend. Then what you gonna say, Mr. Bayless? By the fifth round, Pretty Boy Floyd's face, which has been mostly unmarked. How you think he got the name marks. Pretty Boy? Well, I got it. And he is a pretty boy, but he would have some blood on that face. There'd be some red. No stitches. No stitching done. 